so after organic compounds let's start learning the rules for rules for naming other iupac nomenclature for cyclic compounds right for cyclic compounds we have already studied let me take certain examples so the first important rule which you have to remember let me write rules the first rule which you have to remember is uh, okay let me write how to name first comes your cyclo then comes your word root okay then comes your primary suffix okay this is how you are going to name it what actually is this fine so cyclo compound is a polygon which you are naming for example now i am writing for cyclo compounds this is your cyclo compound what is this compound 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is cyclo which cyclo it is cyclohexene done okay now Uh, one more uh, compound uh, we will write for the root word one more example we'll take suppose if i take the second example like this what is this compound this is also cyclo group but here suppose if you have double bond <coughs> one two three four five this is what cyclo right but it is pent five carbon but there is a double bond here so you want to write it as cyclopentene this is one more example this is i'm talking about the cyclo groups here at the word root i'll again explain let us say one more example suppose if i have a compound like this okay now what is this 1 2 3 4 again it is a cyclo compound but here but four carbons no so but now what what actually is this this is but <coughs> if i have to name one and this is double bond butene right suppose if i have a compound like this one inside one outside then what is this cyclo butene that's it isn't it now now uh, let us see if i have uh, the uh, like uh, uh, further extension for this suppose if i have one more example if the length of the side chain now i am going to speak in terms of length of the side chain so second thing is <coughs> if length of side chain the longest chain the chain which we are going to take is greater than i am writing a rule greater than ring size ring size then ring is treated as alkyl substituent that means okay let us write that then your ring the cyclo ring ring is treated as alkyl substituent now alkyl substituent where side chain is treated as substituent side chain is substituent okay this is the thing well, let us see suppose if i have an example like this now i have one example in this way okay now how to name this 1 2 3 4 5 5 it is pentane done now suppose if you have a substituent like in this way done let me name this how many 1 2 3 4 it is butyl then how do i name this compound i said is the length of the side chain is greater than the ring size but here the length of the side chain is smaller right if it is larger than the ring is treated as alkyl substituent but here it is smaller i can comfortably start from here this is named as 1 2 3 4 one which position is this this is the first position right so you are going to write as 1 butyl cyclo pentane okay right now let us see now i said this is smaller let me take a chain which is larger okay now i have one more example again at the first position 1 2 3 4 5 6 now name it this is the first position right this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 okay how to name this compound name this is named as 1 now i said the chain is shorter when the chain is shorter you are taking that first the substituent is first if the chain is longer remember that uh, if the chain is longer you are going to write one cyclo yes because the chain is longer after cyclo this will become pentyl why pentyl <coughs> this comes first once again i am repeating if the chain is shorter first you will write the substituent if the chain is longer first you will write the uh, this is what do you say the parent chain the means the cyclo ring cyclo this is pentyl 1 2 3 4 5 cyclopentyl now what is the side chain heptane 7 right so it is heptane 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you will count only this one here so this is a nomenclature now let me see one more <coughs> 
yes and uh, nomenclature of aromatic compounds let us write the heading no, uh, iupsc or nomenclature let me write that nomenclature of aromatic compounds you also have aromatic compounds isn't it nomenclature of aromatic compounds okay so in nomenclature of aromatic compounds what thing what you should remember i'll take basic examples and explain suppose uh, this is very simple there is nothing big logic in this you have here benzene ring here you have one more benzene ring here you have one more benzene ring remember suppose the benzene ring if you have one more substituent means one more alkyl group and then halide this is called benzyl chloride okay done, done. now suppose if you have here chcl2 here it is ch2cl benzyl now this is chcl2 now how do you write in this this is again benzyl but here you have two chlorines isn't it so this becomes dichloride benzyl dichloride okay or you can also write it as benzylidene chloride okay done now suppose if i have an example like this how to name this <clears throat> this is called this the name of this compound is benzo chloride remember this benzo chloride right so with this basic uh, information i can easily explain you different different uh, examples i'll be picking up different examples you'll be understanding how to write about for all the chapters these uh, rules are very important for your examination